me. We live in a society where women are encouraged to show their beauty to get by. We live in a society where, we, where fashion means everything to the woman. We live in a society where women who cover their beauty are looked at as someone strange. Now due to this, a lot of sisters end up cracking up to the pressure of society and no one should look down at these sisters. We should aid them to get them back to where they should be at, inshallah. Now my sisters in Islam, don't ever let the shaitan trick you and make you feel like you're ugly because you're not getting the attention that you're used to getting or for some of you, you're not getting any attention at all. When you're out on the street, you see these women getting loads of attention but in reality, this attention is not needed because Allah Ta'ala has installed beauty into every believing woman through their iman. I take my hat off to every Muslim woman who's wearing hijab, especially in the society that we're living in, when on the other side, every other woman is trying their best to look good. Fake eyelashes, fake eyebrows, fake tan, everything's fake, just for them to get that title beautiful, when we all know every Muslim woman is beautiful, and Allah Ta'ala knows best. Now, if you ask any Muslim man who's practicing the deen of Islam, he will tell you, a woman who wears hijab or niqab is a thousand times more fitna to them than a woman who walks on the street uncovered. Because through the hijab, you can see the woman has a lot more to offer than just her looks, and Allah Ta'ala knows best. The fitna for the sisters is on the next level. From the minor things, not being able to walk on the street wearing high heels. From the major things, not being able to pluck their eyebrows. But you have to remember, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, this dunya is a prison for the believer and it's a paradise for the disbeliever. So what I'm trying to tell the sisters in a nutshell, inshallah ta'ala, keep your head up. Remember the reward of Allah ta'ala. Have patience, have sabr. Because the reward of Allah ta'ala and the promise of Allah ta'ala is real. And the promises that shaitan will give you is fake. And remember that. Because Allah ta'ala has warned us from the punishment of the hellfire. And we have to try our best to refrain from that. Allah Ta'ala says in the Quran, Surely Shaitan is an enemy to you, so take him as an enemy. He only invites his followers that they may become the dwellers of the fire. SubhanAllah. So what I'm trying to tell my sisters in the deen of Islam, don't let the Shaitan trick you and make you convince you to take off your hijab and make you sin against Allah Ta'ala. Because you have to remember, we have to keep our hope in Allah Ta'ala because we know the reward that Allah has waiting for us at the end of the road, Jannah, the best of rewards. So inshallah Ta'ala, my sisters in Islam, have patience, have sabr, inshallah, the reward is waiting for you at the end of the road like Allah Ta'ala has promised every single believer. So keep your hope in Allah Ta'ala and have patience. This is a fitna, this is a test for you. No brother can understand what the sisters are going through. So we pray and we ask Allah Ta'ala to make it easy for you and make you complete your mission according to Quran and Sunnah with understanding of the Salaf.